Get some context and find out and ask yourself, what do you know about self-defense? Would you know what to do if something happened? Uh, like this woman in Seattle who was out for a run, went to the bathroom, and there was a, an attacker in there. And of course, because of a self-defense course, she had herself a bit of a plan, knew what to do to get out. And I was like, I don't know that I know what to do. So I wanted to share this with you as well, introduce you to a great place to find that out. And that is where Randy and Thor um, are here, and they are here day in, day out. And Randy, you got some great workshops coming up. Before we get to the next move, you got oh, some like, yeah. fantastic workshops that people can take sort of a, a more in depth look at this. Exactly. We do an 11 week intro to self defense program. Our next one starts March 28th. Perfect. So, seven to eight, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Everybody starts at the same time, so nobody's intimidated by coming into a room full like people yelling stuff and they're like, oh, I don't know if I belong <laughs> here. Right? So, yeah, March 28th, if you guys want to sign up on our website, kpcombat.ca. Hey, we haven't really talked about this, but side note, how important is vocalizing? Like one of the things mm -hmm. that we were talking oh, about, right. this woman had a mantra that mm -hmm. she kept saying over and over again, can't say it, not kid friendly on TV, no. <laughs> um, but something something very, um, you know, aggressive, yeah. but it is vocalizing and showing, does that have any factor in it? I think blanket statements of anything to do with people is a bad idea to go with. Ah. I think for her, her idea of vocalizing was good, but if maybe she's an extroverted person, you could tell she is by the post of not today. Yeah, the yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. <laughs> So, um, but maybe if you're introverted, then it wouldn't be the greatest thing, right? So right. it's really, the martial arts is about the system, self-defense is about you. Right. And that's the beauty of what we do here right. is that we bring out what you're good at. So if you're not good at yelling, but you hit harder when you're quiet, that's what we want to talk about. That's awesome. So no blanket statement. But right. I, if for her, the best possible option. There you go. I love it. I love that. All right. What are we going to take away from this segment? Okay. So again, we're going to talk about the whole people attacking people. Um, <laughs> this is, this what that we're going to work right now is okay. transportation. So what we talked about earlier, predatory violence means no witnesses. Right. Right. So maybe it's my job to get uh, Thor here to a secondary crime location, my Dexter kill room. That's right. What we have here, right? right. Statistically, if you ever go to a secondary crime location, the odds of surviving are small. Right. Very small. Right. So, so don't get there. Don't go to a secondary crime location ever. Just don't go. So when we're doing this, as soon as somebody touches you and they don't have a right to touch you and they're impeding your movement, this is illegal. Right. This is effectively unlawful detainment. He, okay. I can't do this unless I'm a police officer. Right. So right here, they're committing a crime. So give yourself permission here to go hands on. Right. You don't have to be polite and wait or, oh, I'll wait till the door. Oh, maybe I don't want this to happen. Right. right. Same thing, a guy in a bar walks up and this is the old comment, hey, can I buy you a drink? This is not normal. This is abnormal. This is predatory behavior. Right. And picking up a girl in the bar is as predatory as it gets. Right. So <laughs> when we're in this situation, we want to make sure here that we have this ability to resist these two things. We're going to go over two things very quickly. Number one is most people, when they're grabbed, they tend to resist into the grab. Right. Not thinking you can easily slip out. So if I was to oh, grab, right. If I was to right. grab you, right. if I was to grab you here, most people do this, right? right. Like you're I'm going, fighting, I don't I'm want fighting. to. All you have to do is leave. See ya. Right. So that's just a training mindset. Right. The secondary thing is, there's either going to be a one-handed grab, or a two-handed grab to try and pull you. And again, most people here try to tug of war. Right. You're not going to beat this person. His arms are lined up. His biceps are flexing. His lats are engaged. My shoulder joint is hyperextended. I even if I'm bigger, which I weigh more than Thor, I shouldn't, I can't move him. He has a structural advantage. Right. So all we're going to do is break the grip at this position. Now, I'm giving you a passive grip break right now. Obviously, if both his hands are here. This is your best solution. Right. Right. But maybe it's just, you don't know what's going on. You're trying to read the situation. Maybe it's a friend of yours. It's an uncomfortable situation. Like you don't want to do irreparable right. damage. We're going to go mechanically. So on a single hand grab, all we're going to do is find the hole in this. Now, you have smaller wrists than I do. Right. And he has, I have tiny hands. As he wraps this, the goal is to get your wrist bone right. to the gap, and you're going to pull towards your core. Right there. Exactly. Boom. Right, so even hold on tighter, grab. Boom. You're going to pull. Not nice. likely. Not today. Not today. And so, bleep, bleep. So from, from here, if he does two hands, what we want to do mechanically is he strongest here? You don't want to be where Thor bench presses. Right, no. So you're going to turn your hand and bring it to your body to the best of your ability. So step into it and mm -hmm. turn. And from there, as this rotates, you're going to just chop his wrists away. Oh, like this? Kind of. So as you're here, he grabs me. I'm going to fold this the best I can so his shoulders are off alignment. Nobody benches like this. Right. Then from here, I'm just going to push this away. Boom. Okay, we got to go to break. Uh, okay. Fascinating, absolutely. Uh, continue on with us. We got more coming up in the next half hour. Two more uh, things to consider. Again, very important information. We got a great segment back on the studio. They'll stick with us. More DT after this. Awesome.